you stuck in my chimney. I love all these versions of Christmas I know. songs. Yeah, wow, Santa's stuck. stuck. Okay, the simple classics are often the most crave-worthy, but not so easy to make. Case in point, Cacio Pepe is an Italian pasta made with staple ingredients already in your kitchen. And in our Studio 5141 kitchen, to show us how to master this traditional dish is executive chef of 1111 Restaurant, Ryan Guidry. Thank you for coming hello, in. Hello, hello, ladies. Um, thanks for having me this morning. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it in because uh, of the roads and it's cold, but we're going to warm up with this good, good, good pasta dish. It, exactly. We're about okay. to warm up right now. <laughs> okay. So it's easy, but it's not so easy. No, it's not. It's easy. It's a simple dish, but not so simple. Okay. Mm, what but, makes it so difficult? Um, Mm. You just want to get that stick to the pasta, and most people try to, you know, they cook their pasta, take it out, and get a little oil, you know, just kind of get the the, um, the the starch off the pasta. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what yeah. you most definitely need for this pasta. Okay. It's the starch, because you're going to take it straight out the water, straight to the pot, and kind of give it a twirl twist to, it kind of thickens up on its own. Okay. Now, Chef, I have tried to make this at home, because I thought, oh, it seems easy, but like Chef says, it is not, and I feel like it's a lot about timing, right? It's all, it's all about timing, but you know what? In your own kitchen, you're the perfect chef. Okay. I'm about <laughs> that. So there's never, there's right. never a wrong way to make a dish that you're trying to make. Okay. You're just trying to mimic the dish. But okay. me, per se, I'm just going to give you a quick... Um, okay. Tutorial a here. A quick tutorial. And maybe other people might not like, you know, the dish, you know, the same way I make it. But yeah, you're you can always your put your own twist, twist on, on the version, okay. right? Exactly. Okay. So, so we're using know, butter. We're going to use the butter. Salty, unsalted, okay. doesn't matter. But, you know, most of the butter I use is unsalted because, you know, you want to salt it to a taste. To taste, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so we're going to start with some unsalted yeah, butter. Exactly. I love your uh, spaghetti. It's big. Yeah, because so it's you know really what? Spaghetti. Usually people use a spaghetti noodle to make this dish. Mm -hmm. I use the bucatini noodle. I found it a little bit more Ooh. fun and, you know. Bucatini not, noodle, it's like a straw. Exactly. There's a little hole it's in the middle. Hole in the middle. So yeah. okay. I found it a little bit more fun to play with when you make a dish with bucatini because everybody's like, oh, it's not the same. It's not, it's just, it's not spaghetti. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, so it's it got a, a, a lot of fluff and bounce to it. Okay. So All right. when you make the dish, it's gonna, it's gonna give it a nice, you know, hold. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we got the butter going, and then that, and then you put the catch, uh, the no. bucatini in. No, no. Next step, we'll, after we put the butter, you want to grab the cracked pepper. Oh. Crack, cracked pepper. So you want to put the cracked pepper <gasps> mm. into the butter, and that. And this will, is coarsely cracked. Coarsely this cracked. Not, okay. Coarsely cracked. You don't want. And then you want to take about a spoonful of this water mm. out the, the water out the you know, pasta water, pasta, pasta water, mm -hmm. and give it, you know, give it give it a, a quick cook down real quick, you know, okay. spin. Well, you know, mostly the butter will be melted down by the time. But this water and this and this butter concoction right here is gonna give it a good taste and flavor. Okay, I got you. It's, so, it's almost like you're making buttered noodles there. Exactly. It's, mm -hmm. it's okay. more like yes. a butter noodle, but it just got that cheese and that and that yes. and that pepper kick to it. Okay. Also. So, I think it's smart you're using the thicker noodle. I never thought about that because of the the bite. Yes, There's a little bit more yes, exactly. tooth. I mean, like, do you, you do know, it al dente or how do you I cook like, the noodle? I like, I like pasta al dente myself, mm. but... A lot okay. of people don't like al dente, they so they don't just, understand. Exactly, they so we just try to go with it a little bit. A little more you know, firm little, in the middle. And then, you know, I throw a little bit of the the the, pump, the pecorino parm in the water right there, mm -hmm. and then next you want to add your your pasta. noodle, your pasta straight to here. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, nice. this is gonna be good when yes. it goes wow. down. <laughs> so 11 11, you guys have a celebration coming up for New Year's Eve. Yes, we Tell do. Tell us about that. We do have a, a, a celebration coming on uh, for New Year's Eve. It's uh, 125 a person. You have a four course meal. Ooh. Each course is paired with a drink. Ooh. What are you and, making? Do you uh, have it planned course, out? Yes. First course is going to be my nisua salad with black and tuna on top. Mm. Second is going to be my uh, butternut squash puree with the uh, the uh, seared scallops on top. Mm -hmm. Third course will be the duck confit risotto with mushrooms. Mm. And the fourth course, which we dessert, will be the cognac uh, creme brulee. Ooh. That's how that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So All right. we're gonna throw, throw a little bit more cheese to this. All and right. we just wanna give it a mix. And the longer you cook it, this water's gonna kinda evaporate to the point where it's gonna make your noodles nice and sticky and give okay. it a nice hold. Okay, so you don't Beautiful. have to put like the whole pot of water no, in there. No, you know, just, just, a, just a scoop or two. Uh -huh. You know, a scoop or two of the water, you know, maybe like a half a cup of water at the most. Okay. And the more you cook it, the more the water's gonna cut mm. down, I mean cook down, and then it's gonna get more stiffer and stiffer. Okay, so what else kind of do you serve at 11? Oh, okay. Uh, we serve numerous uh, items like uh, the Moroccan style chicken breast, I mean, not chicken breast, chicken leg quarter.
quarter. Ooh. It's dark meat. We have our uh, spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. Okay. Uh, our signature uh, burger with the deep fried kale. And yes, yeah. deep fried kale. I don't use lettuce. I deep fried kale as the green mm. to the to the burger. It sounds like it's like contemporary American. You're pulling yeah, from all Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to pull everybody okay. in. You know, get your taste buds ready. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the other thing too is like you're very artistic, very cool vibes inside 1111. Yes. So um, the, the the vibe and the artistic vibes, well the 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 inside interior was designed by Virgil Abloh, mm -hmm. off white. Mm -hmm. um, and you know we're just trying to stay with the times. Yeah, and the artistic appeal I see is still continued in your plating over there. Of course, right? of course, we got it. It's, it's by appeal, by appeal, by appeal. Mm -hmm. you know everybody, everybody right. likes a good looking dish. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to showcase it right there. Right. This is what it looks like. It's fabulous looking. Where's your fork there, G? You oh, want to eat? Your, I was your... trying to eat it. I'm, I'm sorry, mm. I didn't have a fork. Oh, right there you go. go. Okay, here we go. I'm so Let's jealous. Go. Don't eat the I'm flower. Too, I'm, oh, it's too pretty. It's, yeah, the you need to put a flower in your hair uh -huh. because your flower, <laughs> the flower matches your outfit. But you okay, love it when go. the chef wants to eat his own food because you know that means it's good. <laughs> mm. Mm. You took oh, a big um, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, the larger, one of my the larger uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, pepper does give it a better, mm. better taste. All right, there you go. Chef Ryan, thank you so much. Nope. This is absolutely delicious. There's all the information on the screen. All right, 1111. Thank you. Happy no holidays. Problem. And thanks You're for coming awesome. in.